Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. Within today's video, we are going to be utilizing mesh selection modes within our editing mode to allow us to edit our lines, our faces, and also our vertices as well. So what we're going to be doing by the end of this video is getting ourselves comfortable with making those selections being able to transform them and having a little bit more power and control over the object that we are trying to manipulate. So within my scene here, I've got this little cube. What I want you to do is to jump into the editing mode so that we can begin to modify this. Now with this editing mode, you should have a basic familiarity with it from the last video. Um, it's essentially just a mode that you're gonna be using to make your edits of your object. Now, first things first, when you're editing an object, you are gonna need to select part of it. Now, in the last video, what I showed you is that you are able to select the vertices, the little corners on our object. However, with our meshes, they are actually broken down into a couple of different parts, and we need to be able to select all of those. So the first thing that you've got is your vertices and you should be able to just right click to select one of these and then move them around. What you've also got is a edge or a line in between those. You need to be able to move that. And the way you're gonna do this is by pressing control and tab and it's gonna bring up this menu and it's gonna ask you, do you want to be selecting vertexes, sorry, vertices, or do you want to be selecting edges or your faces. So let's say I wanna change it to edges. Go ahead and click that. And then if you right click on one of these lines here, you can now see this white line is selected. And that is essentially us selecting an edge. And with this edge, I'm able to transform it in just the same way that I can with a vertex. So what I can do is drag this backwards, forwards, up and down. I can also rotate this as well so I can rotate it and make all kinds of funky different shapes and we can also scale it but play around with that it's entirely up to you but what you guys should have now is that control over these extra edges. So the last one that we've got if you press control and tab again to bring open this mesh selection mode is your faces. Your faces are your polygons um, so if I go ahead and go back into my translation mode for transformation down here, you are going to be able to see that I can then select a face and with this face, once again, I can move this forwards, backwards, left and right. I can also rotate it. I can also scale it. It is entirely up to you. So hopefully you guys should have a lot more control over the shapes that you are going to be able to make. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Have a little play around with it, start modifying your vertexes, your lines, and also your faces. But for now guys, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.